Hey guys, Militia of One here, and I got something really cool to show you. So our neighbor gave us these targets, and says, give it a shot. And um, I would guess they are steel targets, but they don't really feel like steel. They almost feel like a type of ceramic. So I don't know what's up with them. He told us um, we're supposed to try to break them by shooting at them, hence why it says give it a shot. And apparently, this material is the housing for these vacuums here. These vacuums are produced by these people and they have issued the world a challenge to try to break the housing of their uh, range vacuums and these vacuums are used to vacuum up lead fragments from ranges or <laughs> in this case to be shot at. Now the material isn't actually all that heavy and our neighbors said they shot it with an AR-15, but I just can't believe that something this thin and um, light could withstand an AR-15. So we're going to go shoot at it and see what damage we can do. I'm thinking maybe it might be resistant to like military surplus rounds, and um, it actually might shatter if we hit it with something more powerful like rounds meant for hunting or a slug. So. We'll see what happens. Maybe, you know, maybe its weakness is like normal body armor and we're supposed to hit it with speed. But we're going to hit it with everything we got and see what damages it the most. Also, since this challenge wasn't specifically sent to us, I think it's only fair to give their Facebook page a shout out. So, there it is. Got it. Oh wow. That's just the 22? The 22 hit the edge of it and like went halfway through it. And there's the second bullet that sort of skimmed off it, but I don't think we're going to have to go too far to break this. I think I hit it. Let's try it again. Okay, I hit it in the, the bottom left. Did it go through? Uh, yeah, I say that went, it's a weird looking pattern. It's like they just got a bunch of fibers together. Well then, I would not rate this for anything above nine millimeter. So let's shoot it with something bigger. I got it. Oh, did I just rip off the top of it? Well, that was the nine. Or is that the hole? That's it right there. Yeah, and it blew out the back. Did it actually catch it though? No. No, blew out. Well, that explains why the, the wood is broken. So, it was right there. There. I the think I also hit it here. Some pretty uh, strong plastic. Most stuff would have just shattered. Yeah, there it went through. There you did. They're all starting to look really similar. <laughs> Probably just went straight through if I hit it. I think that's one of the new holes? Yeah. yeah. Went straight through it and made a tiny hole. So it's probably this yeah. section? Right here. I don't know which one's which, but 
have to review the footage and see which one's new and which one's not. I would think it would leave a bigger hole, that's why I'm skeptical of all these. Looking out the back of it's cool. <laughs> it's sort of just peppered all around with bullets. Smell it? Oh my gosh, it smells so weird. 23, 14. That's at least 9 out of the 20. <laughs> Not how 20 ain't bad. <laughs> I think if I bought the uh, vacuum, I would realize I could drop it down a set of stairs and it would. Stay together. But if it got shot,